Good morning, Amrit. Hello. It's upgrade day, isn't it? Yeah. So we've gone from a BMW 4x4 to a Lamborghini 4x4. The only issue with that is, well, can we fit all the bags? Yeah. And if we, we can take this off. We've just laid on top. There we go. So we've got a lot of cars, as you can tell. And today, we're going to Norway, aren't we today? Yeah. Yeah? You're excited? I, I can't pronounce where we're going, so I don't want to, don't, don't want to try it. Starts with a B. I didn't even know that. So you know more than I do already. So yeah. that's pretty good. But yeah, it should be pretty fun. It is snowing, however, today. So the weather's not the best we've had so far. But yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. And because of the issues with the BMW, we're in the Urus, which I'm very excited about. car now we've got we actually got a little crew going we've got the raptor we've got the citroen we've got the corvette and behind us we've got well currently we have a mazda but behind <laughs> that we've got a ford gt so pretty cool and we're in this very very cool urus i'd never seen a red one before but i thought i'd give you a little interior tour it's basically everything is alcantara apart from the steering wheel which is leather and it's this really cool shape i actually really like this thing but the rest look here alcantara alcantara on the door red stitching same on the seats it's a really really nice spec we've even got alcantara on the roof lining right here and full carbon kit inside which is fairly rare and you were yeah. saying even where you fuel the car up the fuel filler cap is carbon fiber absolutely which yep. is pretty sick but yeah i mean for once actually using an urus kind of the way it was meant to be used we're not just driving it around town it's really nice. Oh yeah, we yeah exactly. We're in snow mode, so never snow. Terra means earth. Ground or uh, dirt. Sabia, dirt. dirt. Yeah. yeah, it's like Sabia is sand. Sand. There yeah. we go. That's what it is. I was looking for the word. I was like, how have I forgot it now to say sand? Um, so yeah, so we're actually putting it in snow mode, which means you were saying what? It starts in second. Yeah, yeah, it can start in first, so you don't drift, you don't slide. Yeah, so when you're pulling away, you're instantly in second gear. Yeah. Really cool, we got the tunes going, and down here, this is where we got our heated seat. I'm gonna put mine down, because I'm about to burn my ass. But yeah, we got heated seats, everything climate controlled is on this screen down here, and all the rest is up there. It's really, really cool. And we're definitely driving on some rather slippery roads, so I feel safe in this car, I feel good, yeah, especially with this legend behind the wheel. Yeah, so now we've got about two hours to go till our lunch. Just saying that this feels very powerful, doesn't it? It feels and it is. Yeah. I mean, there's twin turbo V8. It's got plenty of power. I mean, we've got the old school Ford GT in front of us there. Don't know if you can hear him. I've cracked the window to be able to hear him. Straight pipe V8 basically on that car. Oh, it sounds unbelievable. And the views around us right now. Look at that. It is just magical. And I mean, I didn't know there were roads like this in Sweden until we did the first snow tour. But seeing it now, again, it just reminds you how special it is. And we don't even have too much snow on the road, so we can actually make the most of it. Is this, are we getting to the border? I don't know. No, I think we already passed it. Are we, so we're in Norway now? <laughs> Probably. Oh, all oh, right. <laughs> so you can redo it again. Yeah, yeah. Take two. <laughs> yeah, we can sell this car in <laughs> Okay, so we were driving and the splitter has kind of come off the bottom there. But it's okay, we've got a very elaborate solution, right? Yeah, and I got a friend with another GT who's, uh, he has uh, some spare parts. So okay, fantastic. So nothing to worry about, but yeah, zip ties. We came prepared. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> this is just a quick little side of the road fix. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Yeah. Zip tie fix on a Ford GT. There we go. Should be okay to go now. We're gonna hit the road again. Let's go. Little police stop for the Ford GT. I think it's just a random check. They just pulled us over, so nothing so, to worry about. Oh, he's asking for a selfie. Oh, really? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. We just got a thumbs up from the Ford GT, so that's a that's a good sign, I guess. Yeah. I mean, oh, wait, he's coming. Right. Uh, Hello, sir. I see your license and your car registration. Absolutely. Where are you traveling? Uh, we're going to Brunnesen, then to Arvidsjaar, back in Sweden. Okay. No racing? No racing, no, no. Uh, 
And we're free. <laughs> Massive burnout now, I imagine. So the zip ties didn't work. It's not as bad as it was, but we stopped at a hardware store and we're gonna try and actually unscrew the whole splitter to then put it in the Urus and then figure it out from there. But yeah, problems on the road with a Ford GT. <laughs> so we have to jack the car up to take the splitter off. So we found a jack in the Urus and then now we're gonna give it a go. But I don't know, it's very improvised. <laughs> Exactly, just in a random parking lot. <laughs> Two hours later. We're getting there. We are getting there. Look. It's going to be tighter though. This is the wrong side of the jet. There we go. Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. Well, at least we did it. Got the splitter off. Congratulations. Thank I would you. give you a high five, but no, I don't do it. your hands look pretty filthy. Looks like an original GT40 now, but that's all done. We're now running really late compared to the group. So we need to hop back in, get on the road. I mean, it is so, so gorgeous around us right now, but it is only 20 past two and we're losing the light. I mean, the sun you were saying has never properly come out, but we are now losing light. And we haven't even made it to the lunch stop yet. So I don't know how we're gonna film this afternoon. I hope it's gonna be okay for you guys. But this is just so cool. We're comfy here with our heated seat on in the Urus and it's lovely, but seeing the Ford GT in front of us, occasionally drifting because the road's really icy. With this view of a lake, and all the snow around us, is it's unbelievable. Now we are using this Urus the way it's meant to be used in the same way that Ford GT is being used in the way it should be. I just want to show you this. Seats down, split over Ford GT in the back, loads of bags, snow mode on. And uh, yeah, we're cruising, we're doing long distance, so using the comfort of the car, but then also occasionally, you know, on the little back roads, giving it a little bit of power. So we're using it literally in the ultimate way. And this is kind of what this car was built for, a trip like this. Absolutely. I think I read somewhere that the Ford GT goes four miles to the gallon. So we're fueling it up. I think it's going to be quite a painful fuel stop. I think the Urus isn't, you know, it's not that bad. I've actually been fairly impressed by how long it's gone. I think we, we did like 450 kilometers on, on that tank, but obviously not motorway driving. So pretty impressive. And yeah, I mean, the cars do look cool. Slightly different reds. I thought I'd also show you all the carbon on this Urus because we don't usually have this much carbon on an Urus because, well, I mean, it doesn't really make sense. It does look very cool. It's very expensive. <laughs> you nearly fell. We've then got carbon here, here on the side, and then all the way around back as well, which is absolutely filthy. You can't see anything out of the reversing camera either. But yeah, anyways, I still think this is such a cool combo. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> what a coincidence. Yeah. We had no idea you were coming. The only gas station between yeah. Northside and Lenison. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. Hello. Hello. <laughs> to our hotel. This is the hotel right here. It's been a long day. Oh, look at that light bar. That is intense. And we've had a welcome from the locals. They've come out. Hi again. They came out. Look, we've got a bike on the back of this. Yeah, this has been a beaut of a day. Josh, high five. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Fantastic. We're out here. We're out here and oh, yeah. we are going Finally, to go to bed. Oh, that hello. was very long drive. That was a long day. Aren't very today? long. But we're here now. And we're going to get tomorrow. some rest. Always ready. Tomorrow's going to be a sick one again. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Rest. You? Ha, you liar. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to have a good time. But anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. And bye-bye.